Hey everybody, it's Sean. Thanks for clicking. And if you have clicked, I'm guessing it's because you're interested in looking at some different options on how to transport a bike while enjoying the RV lifestyle. So in this video, I'm going to show some pictures, maybe some video, and point out some pros and cons of the different ways that Angie and I have transported not only pedal bikes, but our e-bikes over the years. Many years ago, I purchased a Swagman four place bicycle rack that I had attached to the rear of our 30 foot travel trailer and uh, the most bikes I ever hauled on it was three but that seemed to work out pretty well. One of the problems with putting bikes on a back rack like that is that they have a tendency to bounce significantly. It's one of the reasons why you have to make sure and get a properly rated rack for whatever weight bikes you are carrying. Angie and I happened to be driving through Florida at one point and had somebody get pull up alongside and frantically began to wave us over telling us that they were afraid that we were going to lose the bikes off the back and I got pulled over and everything was tight so uh, you know they have a tendency to bounce back there and if you've ever followed somebody that's got some bikes on the back that can be an issue especially if they're on a bike rack that is the hanging style like that one. Well, when we were about ready to go full time, we, of course, we had sold our 30 foot travel trailer and we'd bought the fifth wheel and our fifth wheel did not come with the receiver hitch on the back. And I contemplated whether I was going to install one, but instead of doing that because of the configuration of our fifth wheel, I went ahead and put a receiver hitch on the front of my truck, as you can see right there. And so I took that four place swagman bike rack and and mounted our two pedal bikes on the front of it and we hit the road now the pro of course was uh I, I wasn't worried about the bikes bouncing all over behind the trailer one of the cons that that quickly became apparent though is when we would stop somewhere uh and i wanted to get the bikes off that was fine but if we then wanted to take the truck somewhere without the bikes hanging off the front the truck looked like a unicorn and of course i had to remember that i had this great big uh, piece of equipment hanging off the front of the truck so what i would do then was remove it and put it underneath the trailer if we were going to be somewhere for a while and of course the con there was i began to get a little bit worried that what would happen if if it walked away so uh, after doing that for a few months, uh, I decided it would be more convenient to me to put the bikes on the roof of our truck. And since I had already mounted a roof rack with a basket, uh, it wasn't too much more money for me to find on the classifieds a couple of Thule upright bikes racks. And uh, as you can see, they're still up there. And I've left them up there because... We still occasionally will throw our pedal bikes up there. There's been times when we've gone camping that, uh, that I've thrown my grandkids' bikes up there. The con, of course, as you can easily see, is I'm a little bit vertically challenged, is that I have to get a step stool or a ladder of some sort in order to get up there to not only take the bikes up and mount them up there, but then to get them off. And that can be a little bit cumbersome. Certainly, it'd be more cumbersome if they were e-bikes and much heavier, and we have not transported our e-bikes on the roof. The rack itself is rated to do that, and I would have to get uh, uh, a little different mounts for the bike racks themselves to accommodate the, the larger tires. But we didn't do that. What I did when we ordered our e-bikes is that right up front, I thought, well, they're folding. I'll be able to fold them up and just sit them in the back seat of the truck or in the trailer. And uh, what happened was shortly after we did purchase those, the first, uh, the first few trips, of course, my bike was folded up in the back seat of the truck. There's a guy by the name of Rick Prince from one of the Facebook electric groups mentioned that he was going to put his bikes in a tote. And I thought, wow, that's a great idea. Not only because uh, it'd be easier to manhandle, <laughs> woman handle, manhandle, the bikes in and out of the truck, um, but it would also contain that any of the, the debris from the tires and wetness uh, from, you know, making a mess in the back of the truck. And uh, so I went to Lowe's, we bought a 40 gallon tote. And for the most part, our e-bikes do live in the back seat of our pickup truck. 
Um, it's also convenient for us from time to time for me to put them in the back of our trailer. Um, but one of the cons with them having them in the trailer is that they're not in the truck with us. So if we got to a campground with the idea that we were going to go on a bike ride and that bike ride required us to travel a little distance to do a trail or something, then I'd have to move the bikes from the, the trailer to the truck. So for us, it became convenient to just leave them in the truck. Now the con with that is that if you don't have the right uh, truck, you're not probably not going to be able to do that. Fortunately, uh, we have the mega cab truck and the seats fold down, leaving a big enough platform for the bikes to store. Now, when I first did that and started showing some videos about that, I had people asking whether I felt like that the bikes would fit in a tote in the back of a crew cab truck. And I did a video on that, and unfortunately, two bikes won't. One would, two bikes won't. So, Anyways, I just wanted to throw this video out for those that might be in the invest investigatory stage of trying to figure out how going forward they're going to transport their bikes. And if you found this video helpful, you know, give me a thumbs up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave you this video showing the totes that I use to transport our e-bikes. So if you have e-bikes, you might find that of interest. Thanks for watching and we'll see you down the road.